So one of the main things that we need to discuss when you're um, trying to get a better bagpipe sound is trying to tune the drones. Okay. Now I don't even have a chanter in right now. What I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try and practice tuning my bass drone so that it's exactly the same frequency as my outside tenor. So you might want to put, put, pop a little cork in here, but I'm actually just going to use my thumb, okay? I'm going to blow the pipe bag up and I'm going to stop my middle tenor. So I've only got two drones going, I've got my tenor and my bass. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to blow steady and I'm going to move my bass around, up and down, trying to figure out exactly where it sits in tune. So I'm going to detune at the moment, it's going to be miles out of tune, it's not going to sound pleasant. And then hopefully you'll hear as I move the drone, the sound will change and it'll become more pleasant sounding. <laughs> where the, the two noises, the, the tenor drone and the bass drone, are opposing each other. They're kind of going wah, 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 wah. They're grating on each other. That sound is, is not nice. And as I started to bring the bass drone sharper, so bringing it down, it was coming closer into tune with the tenor. And then hopefully you could hear that I actually went a little bit too far and my bass drone went too sharp. And I said, oh, no, I need to come back a little tiny bit. And I found the sweet spot then. So I'll let you hear that again. I'm going to knock them out of tune. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tune it, make it sound nice. Then I'm going to go too far. And then I'm going to come back and finish with it in the perfect position. <laughs> exercise in getting your ears used to listening for your drones and it's also a really good exercise in blowing steady. Try to make sure that you're blowing so steady that you can tune the drones without the chanter. Okay.